Let's carry on developing our knowledge of plasticity and model this right here. I'm going to start with a new file as always, which is control N and remember that this is plasticity still very much in development, whole bunch of more information in the other two videos first. So go and check those out first before you go to this one here. This is going to break. Remember that feedback and all the other links that are very useful are down in the description and in the first pinned comment. So let's start this by creating a center radius circle here click this click this out press d then i'll go with 10 hit enter right click to confirm i'm happy with that so i want to show you how to lay this out in two different ways so i'm going to press shift d to duplicate on the x by 50 hit enter i'm happy with that position right click to confirm i'll press shift d once again on the y by 50 right click then i'll go x minus 25 hit enter right click to confirm and yes i know that that is higher up than these two if we wanted them to all be the same distance from one another this is what we would do we would select this edge here press shift d right click to confirm that then we would press r for a rotation and then we're going to use a freestyle rotation so i'll press f and to set a freestyle rotation you have to first set the axis so i'm going to say origin point up along the Z because that's going to be the axis of rotation and then I'm going to rotate from the center here and this lets me rotate like this. Now a triangle equals to 180 degrees when you add up all the insides so divide 180 by 3 gives you 60. Click OK and now we have it there at an equidistant layout so let's just delete that so right click X to delete that and let's get on with this here let's select these three faces extrude them out by 15 right click to confirm but i carry on working with a sketch so i'm just going to press h to hide those for now so we're going to create some lines now so i'm going to click this line the shortcut is shift a and i'm just going to click anywhere on this curve right here and as i go over to another curve you'll see that these little black dots start to appear each one of this is a snapping point the first one is tan tan see how this one moved over to that side there that is tan tan in one direction this is the tangent to a tangent the next one is one quarter the next one is tangent and the next one is tan tan in the other direction i'll left click there i'm happy with that right click to confirm that and i'll press shift a we're going to click over here go over here find the tan tan left click right click i'm happy to redo the last operation there's another shortcut here which is shift r so the last one was creating lines so we'll go here find the tan tan sometimes it's a little bit small so remember that you can still move around and find the tan tan then we'll left click there right click confirm here we have it so let's select this face now extrude this up i'm going to go for a 10 this time right click confirm let's bring everything back with alt h and here it is let's press 4 for solid selection i'm going to select my key base here i'm going to merge these all together with a union boolean so holding down shift i'll select my other objects here i'll press q for a union remember down in the context menu it's right there and now here the shortcuts are telling me q once again to do a union so i'll press q right there you can select the bodies through this interface right here now I'll right click to confirm that there so i'm going to select now this face so i'll click out press tab select just this face but i want to go alt z so that i'm no longer selecting through select into the object select the face here and i want to do an offset so i'll press o and i want this to be an offset of five so i'll type in five brilliant i will hit enter right click to confirm and now i want to cut this down in there so i'm going to select my object select the face pull this down by minus five brilliant right click done so let's now just do some face offset so i'll press three so i can just click on these faces you can't do multiple offsets at a time right this minute so i'm just going to go o minus five left click right click done over here o minus five left click right click over here o minus five left click right click done so i'm going to select now this shape then i'll press shift 3 so i have my face selection and select these other faces right here 
pull that down and there we have it. Oh dear, I really wanted these to be rounded. Now what's the quickest way without having to undo absolutely everything? Remember we have our history view. So make sure that you have your object selected. And right here we're going to go back to where we find our history, which is which one? It's going to be I think this union right straight there maybe. Let's alt then click here. No, oh, one more. There it is. So I've gone back. Have you seen my sketches are still there, but I've updated my solid. Now we are currently in an operation. You can see it that we're in the operation here. So let's right click to confirm this. So now that it's confirmed, we've gone back in time to that there. So I can now select this lovely edge here. So I'll press two, select the edge, press D. So I can fill it these all at the same time. I'll press three, enter. And here we have so I'll press four, select this once again, shift three for face selection, select this face. I'm going to go down by minus five, right click to confirm that. And now I can do the holes of these once again. So I'll select here, shift three, select the faces, this one, that one, and that one, and pull that down, right click to confirm. Okay, I think we're done with the curves for now. So I'm just going to hide all of the curves by hiding this little eye right there. There we go, they're out of the way. So now let's start to do some filleting to finish this off. So I'll press two for my edge selection, I'll select this edge. Now let's talk about what's going on down here. I'm just going to pull this out. And as you see, as I've pulled this out, all of that has been filleted at the same time. That's because there are tangent edges. If I didn't want tangent edges, I click this and I'll take them away. Also here you can do different distances. So you could do one side further, one side less. There's a whole bunch and there's a lot more information on all of these right here. Feel free to read through them to learn what all this has. I'm sure more document documentation will come with time with every single operation. But for now, that's it there. So I'm going to hit escape to cancel that. I'm going to shift click this one here. And I'm going to put one of two here. I'm happy with that. Right click there. Now, I want to show you that the operation of bevels does matter. And I'm going to show you by doing this, I'm going to go to this bevel here, put three right there, right click, I'm going to go to this one here, I'm going to pull this out to two, right click and then I'm going to go over to this one here and I'll go here to three right click. Now look right here. You see the operation order matters. This is how this bevel has turned out and this is how that bevel has turned out. Just be aware of it. So I'll undo just a couple of times because the one that I want is this one right here. I'll do these to three right click. I'm happy with that. Then I want to select all of these edges right here this one also come on and um, oh i started doing a fillet operation so it wasn't letting me fill it there we go all of these i'm going to do all of these to two right click and there we have it so i want to show you that currently we have quite a flexible model here so if i go into face selection select this face and I can manipulate this as it is. I can also push this a little bit past its point as well before things break, because it will break at some point. So here we have that. I can also go to these and pull them up and just basically play around. I can really go as crazy as I want here. I'm gonna undo this a little bit though, because we're almost at the end here. So why would I do this? So let's go with a nice little selection of all of these here. Remember holding down shift to do multi-selection and I want to chamfer all of these. So this is gonna go minus one. Right click to confirm that, select this edge here and I'm gonna bevel this one by three. And there we have it. That is this now all set and ready. Now, remember the workflow. If you want to bring this into OBJ, it's exactly the same as the last time. So make sure you save this and let's carry on to our next model. Now, if you want to share what you're making or get a little bit of help with plasticity, you can join the MakerTales Discord where I have a plasticity channel right there, or you can try and join the plasticity Discord and information for that will be down in the description or in the top pinned comment where I'll be keeping that as up to date as possible. If you're enjoying what I'm making here and you think I'm worthy of your support, you can join 
join this lovely group of esteemed people, my lovely patrons. Thank you so very much, and a big thank you to my VIP makers, Jem Oskinacht and David Fernandez. It really means the world to me. Thank you for watching, keep making, and let the quest continue.